Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at how you can store an intersection point into A um, on one of the TI-84 series calculators. Um, this is going to be very helpful when you're um, in the uh, AP calculus exam um, because usually the intersection points turned out to be very, very long decimals and so you don't want to have to keep typing them in over and over and over. All right, so let's suppose we, that we've got um, this region right here and they are asking us to find the area. Okay, you would integrate from 0 to the intersection point of the top curve minus the bottom curve, so I have that all set up here. All right, now probably a common mistake um, is that uh, students will oftentimes, you know, not look closely at the picture and just assume that that intersection point is at 1. All right, however, if you are in the graphing calculator section, there's a really good chance that, you know, that's not going to be the case. So what I've done is I've already taken these two curves and I have put them into the graphing calculator. And if I hit graph, I've already zoomed in so that my picture looks similar to my graphing calculator. All right, now I need that intersection point right there, and then I'm going to want to be able to store it as well into A so that I can use it later. So if you recall, um, second calc pulls up a menu and allows you to then find the intersection point point by hitting 5. Alright, it's going to ask you for the first curve and the calculator automatically will come up on that first curve. You hit enter, then it asks for the second curve. It automatically jumps over. If you can see it right there at the bottom, it jumped over to that second curve. It knows where it's at. And then you hit enter again and it asks for the guess. I always do go ahead and arrow over to where I think the guess is about just to make it a little more accurate there and then hit enter. All right, and as we suspected right there, all right, that intersection point is a great big long decimal. All right, now I do want to store it in A. All right, now if you are going to store it in A, as I have done here, and then, you know, use it in an integral, you have to literally write on the AP test one time where you have defined what A is. So I'm going to do that right here. Um, let's define that as let A equal 0.9419. Four four zero eight. Okay, so you definitely want to write that one time on your paper. All right, now um, it is in there right now. So what I want to do is I want to leave the graph area. All right, so I'm going to hit second quit. When I leave it, the calculator still knows that that decimal is in there for x. All right, but I need to recall it so that we can see it in the screen here. So I'm going to do second answer and hit enter, and then you're going to see there is that great big long decimal that was there and it matches what I had wrote down over here. All right, with a few extra little decimals there on the end. Okay, now I need to store it in A. So I'm going to hit the store button and I want A. A is on this calculator green, so I'm going to do alpha A and then hit enter. It puts the number up there again, but it is now in A. So then what that's going to allow me to do then on the AP test, I can just write from 0 to A. I do not have to repeat that great big long decimal, and then I can go ahead and set the integral grow up. In the calculator, I'm going to be able to go math 9. That's going to be my integral. It's going to pull that up, so I can put 0 in there, and then it knows A, so then I can do alpha A, and I can literally put that A right in there. Um, let's go ahead and calculate it out and get an answer here. Second E raised to the negative x squared. All right, now I am, it's top minus bottom, and that bottom curve is got two terms in there, so when I do minus, I am going to want to separate it with set of parentheses there, 1 minus the cosine of x, and then close that set of parentheses, and then the parentheses, the original one there is already closed, and I can put the x in there, and hit enter and it will calculate it out. And then remembering, you can go out three decimal places. You can do 0 0.590, you can do 0 0.591. Either one would be an acceptable answer there on the AP test. Okay, so um, just one quick little example of how you store an intersection point in your graphing calculator and then go ahead and use it in your integral to save you some time. Thanks for watching. If you like the tip, go ahead and hit like on the video. Thank you.